Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Ebony Tarot. Today we are going to be the end of October general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you are doing well. Uh, I have candy in my mouth in case some of you guys are wondering why I'm moving my mouth like that. I don't know. I just feel like I need to eat some candy. Maybe some, some of you all just recently had... Um, a sweet tooth also. I'm picking it up as well. Okay, so when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was When Doves Cry by Prince. I'll leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to the song following reading if you so choose to. A couple messages that I'm getting with that. Some of you all watching, you could be the youngest child. Also, you could be dating someone who is a youngest child, specifically a male figure. And then also, I got the strongest message earlier on before I even started, you know, the camera. Um, someone has been holding back so much. Um, and now I feel like the, the role that they took when they finally expressed themselves was not the right approach, right? Because when doves cry, you know, doves are revered as very soft and gentle creatures. And I feel like the side this person comes off, they've been keeping so much to themselves. They've been, um, they, they seem almost very dainty in personality. But I feel like a power, a passion, a fire about this person is getting ready to come out that no one was expecting or no one has seen before, you or your person. You got fire in your chart, but I'm also picking up, you had strong, what was it, Libra and also Sag in your pre-shuffle. So you could be dealing with someone who is a Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, specifically Sun signs, okay? Or you could have these placements in your chart. Also, you know, you could be dealing with a Leo or Aries or a, um, what is it, Gemini or Aquarius also is what I'm getting, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. I'm really getting about that somebody didn't choose the right way to approach a situation. Like they held everything to their chest. And then when they finally did come out, they snapped and took it out on everybody. And I feel like, you know, cause I'm, I'm hearing, this is what it sounds like when a dove cried. That's what I'm saying. The dove is this person. Like this person was very soft-spoken, lighthearted. And then when they finally cry out, it's like, it's not a cry. It's like belting out angrily, you know, furiously. And I feel like, this is happening to you. Unless, again, you have these strong placements in your chart. I feel like this is someone who is, like, literally losing their shit, okay? So, you guys know I always change the cards to the top and the bottom of the deck. Both of the decks are upright completely. So, once I start shuffling, if I get any reversals, I will read it as such, okay? And I can hear already somebody in the comments like, don't talk with candy in your mouth. That's why I got a pocket in my cheek. That's why my cheek puffy. I know y'all be worried about the queen. The queen good, though, okay? <laughs> bottom of the deck. And then just as I said, the queen got the queen of pentacles, which is funny because my rising is Virgo and my moon is Taurus. So what I tell you, the queen got this, the queen good. But as far as the queen of pentacles, um, with your person, I feel like this person is acting as if everything is fine and will, like they're okay. Again, they come off with this very dainty and soft energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. You know, my, my readings are gender neutral, but I feel like this person is coming off like everything is fine and will, but it's. It's something to this person that you, I feel like a lot of you all haven't seen, or you haven't seen this in a while. If you've been with this person for a while, you haven't seen them snap off like this in a while. And I'm saying this because if you look at it right here, there's a peacock, right? Peacocks are very beautiful. They just kind of sashay around wherever they go. But once they spread those wings, is it not massive? And it kind of catches you off. That's that. It catches you off guard. That's exactly what I'm getting. Like right now, this person's coming off as very mild mannered, demure. But once those wings spread, it's like, oh, shit, that's a whole nother animal. So, and that's what, exactly what I'm getting. Like, this person is showing you a whole nother animal, a whole nother side of himself when they finally snap off. And I feel like they're close to it for someone if it hasn't already happened. Because you see how she's looking over, like, okay, you got one more thing to do. You know, it's, that's, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. <laughs> Four of Pentacles, yeah. Four of Pentacles is holding on for their life, holding back. Look at his facial expression. Like I said, you got one more damn thing to do before I snap. Do it not look like he about to read somebody all of their rights, okay? So somebody's been holding back how they feel. A lot of you guys can be dealing with a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Summer, Rise of Venus. You guys actually showed up in a Capricorn's reading. No, no, you guys are Capricorn. You guys showed up in a Sag. I'm, I meant to say, I'm sorry, Sagittarius reading. So if you're dealing with Sagittarius, you may want to go ahead and look at that reading. And even though it's a pinnacle card, I'm just looking at this red energy. And I, I kid you not, every time I do readings, anytime I get someone with a red outfit or something like that, I always think Sag. None of the other fire signs, I always think Sag, you know? I mean, Aries, I'm sorry. Aries and Sag. Somebody about to pull some shit out of the box, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, because you see how he has this box, but you see how these pinnacles are floating? And, and, 
Pinnacles talks about the earthy energy, grounded. There's somebody who's been grounding and suppressing how they feel, but I feel like it's all about to just come flying out all at once. And where it was small situations, you see how these are small pinnacles, how where it was small situations, it's going to turn into something bigger. It's manifested into something bigger. And I feel like because this person has been suppressing things is what I'm getting here. Okay. So we're going to shuffle the deck upright a couple of times until we get your major arcana, which is the devil card. We get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we will get clarifiers for both. Okay. So let's just part the deck randomly. Yep. Four of cups. This person has been holding back their emotions and feelings. And it's interesting because you have the four of cups right here and then right behind here, you have the four of pentacles. Somebody's birthday could be April. And remember, I did just say Sag and Aries, but I'm, Aries would be April. So some of you guys could be dealing with a, or a Taurus, because you do have pentacles here. So an April Taurus or an April Aries you could be dealing with. But more than anything, I feel like some of this, for some of y'all, this person could keep their emotions to themselves, have a journal, just kind of keep everything within you may have reached out to him and said, you know, talk to me about it. Let's, you know, communicate because cuts talks about the emotions and feelings. But this person was not willing to express it. They were just keeping their, allowing their feelings and emotions to pile up. I'm really getting a vibe that somebody is going to finally snap though. Or did. This could have actually happened because you had those two fours back to back. This could have happened four days ago or may happen within the next four days. Also, okay. So let's see, Cappy. Let's see. Yeah. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a, a fellow earth sign. Possibly a Taurus. Yeah, woo. You got two kings. There could be a battle of egos. Bumping heads. Tempers could flare. You got two kings right here. They're both looking at us head on. So, you know, and I said tempers could flare. And look at the each tip of his chair. You see how those flames are going up? Yeah, somebody could be getting pissed the fuck off. Again, Leo says Aries. And I feel like with this being calm, you see how calm it is? You could be dealing with this calmly. But this person is is could be taking a different approach. Didn't I say I feel like somebody didn't take the right approach about it they could just snap off and completely lose their shit and in the background these are mountains but it makes me think about a volcano like this this person has been building things up to the point where they can no longer hold back and that's where the temper whoo let's say they can no longer hold back and the temper is going to flare you got the eight of wands fast moving communication coming out of the blue unexpectedly absolutely um you know guys fire talks about and it's coming right next to this absolutely fire talks about action so somebody could be putting their words into action in an unexpected way. I'm telling you what I'm getting. Yeah, this might be the last shuffle because I get this. I'm getting a message, okay? Okay. Bottom of the deck. Oh, yeah. Some of you guys are... Didn't I say Aries? Some of you guys are done with the Aries or you have strong Aries in their chart or they have strong Aries in their chart. Some of rising Venus. You have the Emperor. Definitely major arcana for Aries. Major arcana that's a definite energy. Um, For some of you all, you may feel like a situation was water under a bridge. You have water here and there's a bridge there. You felt like the situation was water under the bridge, but mm -mm, to this person, it is not. In fact, it looks like they were just holding on and, and keeping mental notes, you know, because it looks like he has a scroll here. Just keeping mental notes about what happened. <laughs> keeping mental notes. You got the Eight of Swords. You just had the Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, so something possibly went down in August, okay? Eight of Swords is being mentally entrapped, feeling as though you can't find your way out of a situation emotionally and mentally. Okay, so let's go through the deck and get you guys major arcana. Again, it would be the devil. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus individuals. Okay, and it's, you guys know typically when I shuffle, I'll stop so we can see how far we got along the deck. Because if you get the further, further, further into the deck before we find your major arcana, that means it's a situation that has been going on for a while. We're stopping right here. But again, I said something may have happened in um, August. That could be Leo season. And you do have strength card, major arcana for Leo. And I did say there's some there's some fire energy. You got two major arcanas of fire. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a fire sign, possible Aries, possible Leo. Again, you can have those placements. And if you have those placements in your chart and it's you who snapped out like that, you could be under that fiery energy. Like there's a fire like really burning in you and you've been suppressing it for a while. Either you or your person because you see how she has this... this um. Lying on the chain, like somebody's been suppressing and taming their anger. Yep. Because they didn't want to cause conflict. Five of swords, you know. Absolutely. That's what I'm getting. So again, we are looking for the devil. Empress. Some of you guys could be married or engaged to this person or someone could be pregnant. Libra, Taurus, and Aries energy. Again, more Aries. I don't want you guys to see this real quick because this is quite interesting. 
You have the Empress, Major Arcana. You have the Six of Pentacles, Chariot, Major Arcana, Sun card, Major Arcana, <laughs> the Hermit, Major Arcana, the Star card, Major Arcana. You got Aquarius, you got Virgo, you got um, Leo, you got Cancer, you have Libra, Taurus, and Aries. I'm going to tell you with, all, with the absence of one. The Six of Pentacles talking about something needing to be balanced. This is something that's going to cause some type of major shift. Do you see this? You see how right here, the Hermit is looking at the Sun card. Somebody's looking for the light at the end of the tunnel. Wish fulfillment and healing with the Star card. Somebody needs to do some emotional healing. Somebody may have some suppressed um, emotional issues that they have not shared with you. Or like I said, going back to that water under the bridge with the Emperor card. You may have thought things were done and over and this person was over this. And then all of a sudden, here you go. Because look at what's at the top. Here goes that fire again. She ready to light somebody ass up. You know, she or he. You keep in all this energy of somebody's ready to light something up. And I'm talking about, you know, put something into action. Again, there could be some fiery energy here as well. Okay. So, yeah, this has been something that's been going on for a while. Because look how far we got in the deck. And then now towards the very end, we got you guys, Major Arcana. So the card in front of it is the King of Cups. Mm -hmm. And then a World card. Look at all this Major Arcana. So you have the Page, and on the other end, you have King. So someone is do, needs to do some type of emotional healing. Because this is progression. You go from Page to the King, okay? So I'm going to say this again. Emotionally, someone did not choose the right, the right course of action because a Page comes to someone who could be a little emotionally immature. And they really need to, you know, revalue, excuse me, evaluate, reevaluate how they dealt with things. Um, it could be you. Because if you notice right here, the king's back is facing your energy. But also, it could be that this person doesn't want to face you after what they did. Now, you also have major icon of the will of fortune. This Whatever the situation was, it was faded and destined. It was meant for things to go down a certain way. Because it's universal energy, major icon of soul was definite. It was meant to happen. And I feel like this breakdown... Or this this emotional, because this is some emotional turmoil. You see how the water splashing by his feet. But you see how he has his foot out the water. One foot is in the water. So somebody's literally in the thick of it. But then they're trying to act like they're not. And that's why I said again earlier, this person is trying to act as if everything is cool. But deep down, there's some stuff brewing with this person. And whatever, whatever commotion, because I'm hearing commotion, I'm hearing turmoil, whatever happened, it was destined and fated and meant to happen. Because I feel like in a way it's going to catapult you and this person to understanding each other better. That's what I'm really getting here as well. Um, uh, yeah, it was meant to happen. Yeah. Again, when the doves cry. Somebody is emotionally purging. And you guys see, you know, I wasn't shuffling. You got the five of swords. You just had that a few minutes ago in this deck. Conflict, arguments, disagreements. You can have people in your business. This person could always have, in the past, allowed people to, you know, say whatever they want to because source communication mental. And now this person feels like they're going to take their power, but they may be taking it out on you. So let's part the deck so we can see what we got here. Yeah. So you guys are definitely dealing with an earth sign like yourself. Or this could be you. You see how he's facing the king of pentacles, right? Some of you all could realize that, okay, it's best for you to keep calm in the situation and let this person vent. But I feel like it's more than just you who's catching the grunt of it again. You see how it looks like he's almost feeling as though he's victorious and he has two people walking away. This person may have involved other people in the situation or they may have told somebody about themselves. There's that emperor again. There could have been somebody who was trying to assert their power over you or them. And they felt as though somebody had crossed the line. And so... They may have crossed the line with their response to this person's communication or something like that. I'm, I'm getting something to that nature. Yeah, in the past, they were very slow to defend themselves. Because knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. And Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the whole entire deck of tarot. So in the past, they may have, you know, really kept things to themselves. Not really spoke on anything. But I feel like, you know, now they're coming to a point where they know they have to speak up. But I, I keep in the vibe that they're taking it out on the wrong person. Yeah. Because see, the opposite of strength is weakness. And their backs are facing each other. So their response was not the, it, it wasn't the strongest response. They reacted out of a time of feeling weak or feeling like they were being attacked. And overall, their response possibly, you may have looked like, that was weak as hell. That was weak for you to do. That was weak how you responded. That was weak how you, you know, took that into consideration. It, it was just weak. And I feel like somebody definitely feels like their power has always been taken from them or they have been knocked off their pedestal or thrown. 
An emperor in reverse is someone who feels a loss or lack of power. Again, Aries. For some of you all also, something could happen in Aries season. Okay? That's what I'm getting as well. Uh, March, also April. Okay? So let's get a clarify for the King of Cups. That flipped up quick. Okay? So you got the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm getting right here is somebody definitely became emotionally unglued. Okay? Because up right... Look at this is pentacles, but in the background you see the waves. That's water, emotions, and feelings. And they were juggling. They were they were keeping it under wraps for a while, but in reverse, this person became emotionally unglued. You see how you have the King of Cups looking at the Two of Pentacles, and then up right his back will be facing the King of Cups, but in reverse he's facing the direction of the King of Cups. So the Two of Pentacles, I feel like this person was trying to balance things, and they were trying to juggle their emotions. But I feel like overall they lost their cool. That's what I was ultimately getting. And for some of you all, this has been a test. Like I said, this destiny is something faded. This is a test of you guys' relationship to see if you guys could stand um, the test of time in this relationship. Because, again, I feel like for some of you all, you did not see this part of this person. Because if you look at this, you see how right here, he has his helmet on and you can't see his eyes. So you didn't see that this person, you've never seen that this person was capable of this type of response. I'm hearing an outburst. So let's get a clarify for the Wheel of Fortune. For Capricorn, someone rights and Venus individuals. Okay. Yeah, one foot down. Yep. Somebody lost their temper. Absolutely. So you have the Knight of Wands. Um, the Knight of Wands is hastiness, moving fast, moving quickly, um, not thinking about what they're doing. Here for a good time, not a long time, hot and cold, on and off emotions. You have in reverse. So a lot of y'all didn't know this person was capable of having this quick temperament. Because wands, again, is passion, action, drive, tenacity, forward movement. You guys did not see this about this person. And I feel like this is something that you're now seeing. Again, you didn't see this as a double side to this person. You got these two figures right here. Again, he's blindfolded. This could be this person's shadow. So if you are, a lot of you all are seeing their shadow. And you had no clue that they were capable of this. You had no clue that this person could be quite defensive. Because knights, again, are either going into battle or coming out of battle. And he's head to toe in armor. In reverse, you didn't even know this person was capable of it. Like I said, when doves cry, this person came off a soft, gentle nature, which you didn't know that this person had a whole, you know, knight, a whole warrior in their personality. You've never seen that part of them. Or again, they've never seen this part of you. But I feel like you're getting ready to see it. And it's fading and destined for that to come out. I don't feel like it's a bad thing. Yes, I feel like their response to something is, is kind of negative. And they jumped into something too quickly. But again, you needed to see this about this person in order for you to really know the true person that you're dealing with. I don't care if you've been with this person for a while. It looks like possibly for a while they they have not showed that side of themselves. But it, it looked like on this one, <laughs> one faded or destined day, something's going to happen. Because even though they may have responded rashly, I feel like now if they have been suppressing their emotions for a while, okay, cups, emotions, feelings, suppressing their emotions... Them finally snapping out and getting it out and lets people know that they're not the one to be played with. That's what I'm getting there. For sure. Okay? So, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.